Imagine waking up every single morning knowing that you had a business that was generating $25,000 per month for you and your family, and most days you didn't even have to lift a finger. Does that sound too good to be true? Well, it's not. And in this video, I'm gonna lay out a game plan that you can implement that is going to show you how to build this type of business up from the ground, from scratch, even if you are a complete beginner. So let's get into it. All right, quickly before we dive in, if you are new around here, my name is Mike Mack, and over the last 10 years, my wife and I have built two wildly successful cleaning companies in two separate states, and now it is a mission of ours to help as many people just like you build your own automated cleaning business the high ticket way. All right, notice how I said the high ticket way. I say that because this is anything but a traditional cleaning business. So what makes it high ticket is two things. The first thing is we are only targeting offices. There will be no cleaning of houses or anything like that. And the second part of it is, is we are only focused on offices that are already paying five to $10,000 per month. So everything you get from this channel and this video is gonna be through that lens. The reason why is because I've tried it the traditional way and it just doesn't work. Yes, you can be profitable. Yes, you can make good money. But when it comes to automation, trying to automate a cleaning business, the traditional way where you have to get tons and tons and tons, like tens and hundreds of clients, it is an absolute nightmare. I'm gonna show you the four foundational pillars that your automated cleaning business must have or it's gonna be nearly impossible to do any automating. So without further ado, let's get to pillar one. Okay, pillar number one is going to be expert positioning. We want high ticket clients only. We don't wanna focus on the rest of the clients everyone else is after. I just want those people who are willing to hand over their card and say, here you go, ping my card for $7,000 just for general cleaning. If we want those clients and we have to be different. We have to be different from everyone else. So in order to do that, we have to make our company the unicorn. Now, depending on when you're watching this video, there's going to be a series of videos right behind this one that goes into deep detail on each one of those pillars. So the high level understanding of what it is to be a unicorn comes down to making yourself completely different than everyone else in the area. If everyone's naming themselves ABC Cleaning, you should give yourself a name, a name that almost makes them think you're a franchise. I'm not saying to be a franchise. I'm saying you just want to create as much distance as possible. So when you send your marketing to this office, they automatically view you as being 10 steps ahead of everyone else. Some other ways we do that is just having your messaging dialed in, meaning speaking to their pain, speaking to like the solution and how you're gonna fix their problems without bragging about yourself. Things like that are gonna give you a big leg up when it comes to the competition. Now let's get to pillar number two. Okay, when it comes to pillar number two, it is all about how do we get high ticket clients? So we're talking client attraction, specifically high ticket client attraction. So do we go after these clients like everyone else? No, you can't. And here's why you can't. Take it from my experience. The reason why you have to approach these clients completely different is because the actual decision maker is a few levels deeper into the account and they're not easy to approach. Okay, so doing things the typical way of just cold calling, there is an extremely high probability that you are not gonna get anywhere close to the decision maker and you're ultimately gonna get hung up on. Same thing with sending thousands of cold emails. None of these things work. And the reason why is you have to pierce through and get further than everyone else. And the way we do that is being hyper, hyper, hyper consistent. The other way we do that is creating omnipresence. It is systematizing your approach in a way that you are making it seem like you are this huge company because of the way you're marketing. But in reality, you are just doing a little bit of sniper marketing where you are just you know, you're only targeting these high ticket clients. That's how you're able to pull that off. And if you can do that in a way where you have that kind of unicorn type brand, this is what makes it ultra powerful. And when you match this with pillar number one, and you actually become that unicorn type brand with the consistent client attraction, this is what makes those high ticket clients pick up the phone and say, yeah, <laughs> I like what you're talking about. Let's get started. And once you start landing those clients, it's all about this next pillar here. All right, pillar number three is cleaner attractions. We want clients and we want cleaners. We want high ticket clients and we want 
phenomenal all-star type cleaners. Now, when I say phenomenal all-star type cleaners, I'm not necessarily saying, oh, they're the best cleaner ever. They're gonna win all the competitions because they're just an amazing cleaner. I don't mean that at all. What I mean is we're looking for great people. That's it. We're looking for great people, people who are reliable, people who are looking for some extra income, which nowadays, who is it, <laughs> right? So the way we do that is take that unicorn brand that's helping us get these clients, but also spill that into our cleaner attraction. So to pull that off, all we wanna do is make very, very custom job postings, post them somewhere on Indeed, and then you will get people start coming in. And just so you know, in the following videos, I'm gonna do a deeper dive on each one of these areas so you actually have a really strong understanding and you can start implementing immediately. Like I said, I just want you to wrap your mind around these ideas. For instance, pillar four which is automation. Now, when I say automation, I'm not just talking about softwares and you you know, you just like kicking up, kicking back, taking a nap on a beach. Although you can pull that off, it's not gonna be because of robots and softwares. It's going to be because of systems and people. Okay, so I believe in automation through delegation. It's about systematizing each area of your business and delegating those tasks to employees. Specifically, there is just one hire you can make that can take like roughly 70 to 80% of your workload off, just one particular hire. And in the beginning, that hire is not even gonna be full time. This particular hire I'm talking about is a nighttime supervisor. This person's gonna be out there hiring and training and checking the quality, making sure it's all good there, checking the emails during the day, responding to emails, picking up supplies, dropping supplies off, etc. Just that one hire will keep you from needing to be out 30 hours a week managing this business. So if you're serious about starting your very own automated cleaning business and you want to do it the high ticket way, you don't want to mess around and play games, then you're going to want to watch the next few videos of this series starting with this one right here. This is going to tell you exactly what you need to get started and kind of more importantly what you're not going to need to get started. So click right here and I'll see you on the next one.